One particularly interesting uh, professor of the University of Edinburgh Medical School and fellow of the college was Professor James Young Simpson. And he came up with the idea with his colleagues that it might be possible to use chloroform to induce sleep, in other words, anesthesia during surgical operations. Because it was very difficult in those days for women having a difficult delivery and perhaps needing a, a Caesar, as we call it, a caesarean section operation, to carry that out without anesthetic uh, was not a pleasant procedure for anyone concerned. However, his idea of chloroform took root here in Edinburgh, but was not accepted uh, south of the border until a very special patient was needing it. And in Windsor Castle, Queen Victoria was in great distress some years later with the labour which would produce Prince Leopold. And there was a great argument in the royal apartments at Windsor Castle. Could the Queen be given chloroform? She was in great distress. They had chloroform, but it was from Scotland. It was new. It was, what if the baby died? What if the Queen died? And I know what the obstetrician royal was thinking. What would be the effect on my private practice if either of them died? And this dilemma, this argument was settled by the Queen herself, who famously said to the squabbling doctors, gentlemen, it is not you, but we who are having this baby, and we will have the chloroform. The Queen was given the chloroform. A few minutes later, she was anesthetized, she was unconscious, and a few minutes after that, Prince Leopold was safely born. And one of the greatest advances in the care of women of the entire 19th century had thus been launched by royal command.